Welcome back to Survivor's Quest. Three brave contestants, three extreme locations, one goal, survive. Today, our contestants face a chilling realization. They're not alone. After all, the wilderness is home to wild animals, and some are dangerous. Will our survivalists be able to identify nearby dangerous animals and deal with the situation safely? Or are they doomed to become dinner? Stay tuned to find out. Animals are amazing, and observing them in their natural habitat can be a thrilling experience. But animals can also be dangerous. What are some high-risk animals we might encounter in the wild? And what makes them dangerous? To answer these questions and to test your dangerous animal knowledge, it's time for our Survivor's Quest minigame. Name that beast. When the game starts, we'll slowly reveal images of dangerous animals. See how many you can guess before the timer runs out. After each round, fill in the blanks in your guided notes to identify different dangerous animal categories. Name that beast. Round one. Ready? Start guessing. Time's up. We've got a rattlesnake, a black widow spider, a Portuguese man o' war, and a scorpion. What makes these animals dangerous? Well, these are all venomous animals, which means they can inject a toxic substance if they bite or sting someone. Toxic substances can make a person very sick. Time for round two. Ready? Name that beast. All right, this time we've got a wasp, an ant, a mosquito, and a tick. What do these dangerous animals have in common? These are animals that swarm, sting, or bite. They may be small, but their attacks can still pack a punch, causing anything from mild itching and pain to serious allergic reactions. The ones that suck blood can also spread nasty diseases. Time for our final round of Name That Beast. Get guessing. Nice job! I see a bear, a mountain lion, an alligator, and a wolf. What makes these animals dangerous? These are all large predators. They've got built-in weapons like powerful jaws and sharp claws, and they can seriously harm humans if they feel threatened. Thanks for playing Name That Beast! How many dangerous animals did you recognize? Maybe you thought of others, too. Feel free to add examples to your survivor's guide. Now that we're armed with dangerous animal knowledge, let's check in with our contestants. Hey, check this out. I can't see any animals yet, but I can hear something. Listen. Now, that may sound like a malfunctioning sprinkler, but it's actually the warning tail shake of a venomous rattlesnake. Earlier, I heard a hissing sound, too. I need to tread carefully here. Literally. Caroline has the right idea. This part of the desert is a perfect habitat for some venomous animals like snakes, scorpions, and spiders. Why do you think that is? 
What clues do you notice about this environment? Pause to record your ideas in your survivor's guide. I'm seeing low trees, dense bushes, and shrubs. I'm also noticing rocks, fallen branches, and soft ground. These covered shady areas are perfect spots for snakes and other small venomous animals to hide and keep themselves safe. So how am I staying safe out here? Well, I'm wearing close-toed shoes and long pants to protect my legs. I'm sticking to clear, open paths instead of walking blindly through the bushes. And when I heard that rattlesnake's warning, I avoided that area entirely. Remember, snakes, spiders, and scorpions may look scary, but they're way more scared of you. They're defensive, meaning they're trying to protect themselves. If you respect their space, they'll usually leave you alone. And if you do get bitten or stung, seek medical attention right away. Caroline's knowledge and experience kept her safe today. As evening closes in, let's see how Justin's getting on. This is misery. Get away. Get out of here. Looks like Justin's dealing with another type of dangerous animal, the type that swarms, stings, or bites. In this case, mosquitoes. Ugh, seriously, I found the perfect spot to camp right by this nice lake, but now I'm getting eaten alive. Ugh. Unfortunately for Justin, mosquitoes love to hang out around still water like lakes, ponds, and swamps. It's where they lay their eggs. They tend to come out in the early evening. That's why you should think ahead about where and when you'll be outside. Using insect repellent can also help you stay safe from mosquitoes. But mosquitoes aren't Justin's only problem. Wait, what is that? That, Justin, looks like a wasp nest. If you notice a nest or hive in trees or in the ground, especially if you see wasps, bees, or ants nearby, avoid it. Disturbing a nest isn't just rude, it can cause the entire colony to see you as a threat and attack. No, 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 not the wasp nest. I mean that, that monster right there. That's a deer. Oh, yeah, cool. It's not going to attack me, is it? That's unlikely. Just leave it alone and observe quietly from a distance. Whew. But the presence of deer sometimes means that ticks are nearby. Ticks love to hang out on tall grass and grab anything that moves past. So when you're in a forested or grassy area, be sure to wear long sleeves and pants and check yourself thoroughly for these unpleasant hitchhikers. Yep, on my next adventure, I'm definitely bringing some bug spray. Next adventure? Huh. I mean, I guess I've been kind of enjoying myself, but uh, now I don't know. Oof, hang in there, buddy. Let's pivot to our final contestant, Jenna, who just woke up to discover a big, big problem. Ew! What animal could possibly make a poop that big? Uh-oh. Is there... a bear nearby? Um... Are there any other signs of bears around here? Good eye, Jenna. Big footprints, claw marks on trees, and large poop called scat can be signs of large predators like bears or big cats. Sometimes you'll hear these animals roaring or growling or you might hear sudden silence, 
when birds and insects go quiet to avoid a predator's attention. <laughs> well, now that I know I'm in predator territory, what precautions should I take? Pause to check the best advice for Jenna in your survivor's guide. Okay, it's important I secure my food and that I don't leave trash around. I'll walk confidently, stand my ground, and make my presence known so bears aren't taken by surprise. I got this. Great thinking. Remember, never touch, feed, or approach predators, not even for a quick photo. That baby bear may look adorable and harmless, but he's still got teeth and claws, not to mention a very angry mama bear nearby. Whenever you're in predator territory, it's also a smart idea to consult with local park rangers or wildlife experts. They can teach you what dangerous animals are nearby and how to protect yourself. That's why we'll be sending Jenna some bear spray. In an emergency, this spray can be used to stop large predators from attacking. Stay safe out there. Whew. Shout out to our survivalists today. Snakes were avoided, mosquitoes were swatted, and the bears? Barely an issue. But next time, it's the flora, not the fauna, that poses the biggest threat. Will our contestants survive the perils of plants? In the wild, survival is just the beginning. See you next time on Survivor's Quest. <laughs>